Yo, yo, yo. Alright. So, taking me a morning walk. And I'm faced with, like, an ongoing dilemma of following and being obedient to Yahweh's word and that's weight um, but dealing with uh, trying circumstances but me and father had a conversation yesterday and <laughs> you know when we always get into these tips when I'm when I'm feeling very down I'm feeling very angry about my position and where he led me he gives me the reality of it thank you father um i have how can i say this diplomatically without spilling tea and personal stuff um my circumstances are humbling due to a, a myriad of reasons some within my control some that aren't in my control and the parts that aren't in my control and I know for sure they aren't in my control um, makes me very upset um those of us who have narcissistic family members <laughs> you know okay so the circumstance was an event was happening a, a situation was happening uh, those who have family members who aren't well mentally and they rely on chemical substance to keep themselves afloat or and some type of a, a attitude or whatever. Um, that cycle was happening. And I was very upset. And Father, knowing I was upset, he was like, go ahead, explain. Come, come on, talk to me. And a lot of times I don't want to say it, say things because I don't want to be uh, angry talking to Father. Because I feel like sometimes when you slip up and cuss, toward like cussing and cursing are two different things but it's just a thing of like if you're talking to your grandma if y'all had that type of relationship you're gonna try your best not to cuss around it. you know what i mean so i'm trying my best to explain like <laughs> father you told me to come here and why is it I keep having to deal with these things, these circumstances, these cycles. If I am who, you know, you're constantly telling me who I am, I get encouragement, you know, stuff like that. And it's kind of like someone telling you a, a, a massive truth about yourself, but you can't really do nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know magic right and it's like well how, how, well where's my where's my sparkles where's my <laughs> where's my cape no you don't need it right now but it's like it's kind of like that it's, you get in circumstances where you wish you could use your magic but it's like no you have to endure so the thing father told me the circumstance you're going through right now would you rather go through would you rather go through it in a shelter or in prison? And I was like, and that's where it was like, it's diffusing. Those who, you know, actually get a word from Yahweh know that Father gives you some real harsh truths. It's like, okay, well, 
would you rather if you had a choice? Would you be here knowing this person's lying, knowing this person is what they are, but you're safe? <laughs> At the end of the day, you're safe. Nothing's going to happen but them just talking and yelling all night. For one for one day of the week, maybe two. Or would you rather be in a place where there is nothing but demons and they'll be just preying on your downfall just because they know you're not from there? Of course, you know you have protection, but you know. So. I had to settle down and just tune out, said my prayer, visualize my future, visualize my wife, and I was able to sleep. That's the power of Yahweh. But then it just led me to this thing where you have family members who deny your existence they deny everything about you because the truths in which they they claim are are your lies makes them look very bad but the thing i learned about narcissists lower level narcissists is that they're very pitiful people um they have to recruit other people who are down to side with them. Um, they have to gather and, and feel. Uh, <laughs> they have to gather and feel like what they're saying is right when they're absolutely wrong. And how they're presenting their said truth. So you have people who. They can't, they, they, there's no truth in them at all. And it'd be unfortunate when it's your own parents who would just lie on you. Like nothing, they would just lie. So a lot of the things I feel like Father is showing me is like, this is why, this is why people who I bless don't be blessed for long. Because we allow our flesh and our mind to look at the circumstances or the illusions. And then we react trying to be a good person. Adhering to man when you're supposed to really be adhering to Yahweh. Um, Kings. I forget what the what story was in Kings. But the story was, uh, they said the man, uh, the man of God. I thought it was talking about Jesus at first, but it was saying a, a, a true man of God, not a prophet, a man of God. Told this dude, "Hey, you need to get up out of here. Don't eat nothing from here. Don't drink nothing from here. You feel me? Get up out of here. Don't sit. Don't." Stay nowhere tonight. Make your way out. I think some people came to meet him or uh, the circumstances and whatnot. And a dude came claiming to be a prophet of the Lord. But the thing is, like, who's prophet? You feel me? So one of the things I learned, you have people who will lie just for your downfall. This, they, they, they see your position. They know your position. Some probably even envy your position. And they just prey on your downfall. Do set them up with his own father. Man of God went with the so-called prophet. Ate, drank, left, and then he died. And, and then father told him, yo, you will not be buried in the tomb of your ancestors. Because I told you 
not to eat or drink in this place. I didn't change my mind. Otherwise, I would have talked to you. So, it's certain things that like when you go through, I would say you have to pray. You have to communicate with the manager in order to get your reprieve or your answer or whatever. And you have to hold on, you have to endure. If you have to starve for a day, then you're not starving, you're fasting. There's a reason why our Father's telling you to do that. So in the circumstance, I'm learning to tr I'm learning to keep my peace. It makes no sense in arguing with liars and con men. You know what I mean? People who made themselves not be truthful, not even the eyes of a, of a father, they can claim to be. And that's another a, a thing I will say that would be very controversial. Don't. <laughs> Don't listen to nobody who claim they're a prophet. Somebody put prophet as a title for themselves. Oh, hey, the babies. Oh. Um. So yeah, a person claim coming you claiming they're a prophet. <laughs> I'm learning that's the caveat to a lot of the spiritual stuff. Don't listen to them. You're not a prophet. You gave yourself that title. P true prophets don't give themselves that name. They don't say that. Jesus never said it. Peter never said it. <laughs> John never said it. And I did research. I made sure. They never said, I am a prophet. This dude who got homie killed claimed to be a prophet. And him not listening basically became his dem demise so it's like don't listen to man listen to Yahweh yeah he will have you in circumstances that are dire and fucked up but they not they truly not they're really just to grow you they're really just to um it really just to mold you into a better person. You know? And confirmation. Donkey in the line. I'm looking at it. I should take a picture when I come back. But, yeah, basically it said he was, uh, it claimed that he was, he was mauled by a lion. But he wasn't. He wasn't mauled. He was just killed by the lion. Because of his disobedience. So I don't know. You just got to learn to not. You got to hold and fortify yourself with the word. I know a lot of people. That may hear this. Might be like. I don't believe. But it's like bro. <laughs> Y'all is real yo. A lot of the things that I've been through. Going through. Uh, and I've come out of it's all because of my father not my dad not my flesh father my actual the, the creator the all the being you know what I mean and I, I, I truly feel like if you don't believe or you you claim that uh, Yahweh is not real is because ain't no communication with you. But for the people who are, who know, who know, and they have been communicated and taught, whatever situation you in, whatever situation Yahweh put you in, not what you got yourself into, whatever Yahweh said, go over there. Do that, talk to that person, go to this city. 
their situation their situation to basically there to grow you not to harm you no situation i've been in where where father has told me to go i was harmed i was nothing i was in uh, i was in some situations that had thousands of dollars of equipment on me nothing happened no harm came to me you feel me so you have to just learn to follow directions you feel me they don't go down there don't go down there <laughs> so I don't know it's kind of unfortunate that we had the family members we have people who are lost and, and they because they feel like they're not like a homeless person um they are somehow better when it's like well you're really just one decision away from being exactly like the homeless people you look down on you know what i'm saying so i'm sure some of us have like i have but i'm sure whoever here it is have family members that blast christian music all day but they're the furthest thing from christian people who give christianity a bad name people who give yahweh well you cannot give yahweh a bad name but The liars who speak in the name of Yahweh, who perpetrate, you feel me? It's unfortunate that we have those type of people because they'll truly, they will never truly know his grace, his mercy, his power. They will just, be what they are <laughs> you know what I mean it's just, it just is what it is they will just be what they are so you know especially like look here, here's a funny thing I'll just say this it's a little bit personal to you family member was lying on me this morning to a person in prison. You you hear the word? Do you hear the word there? Listen to what Yahweh is saying, because the people speaking on your name are nothing more than liars and con men, prisoners. They're both prisoners because they can't live in the truth, right? You can't live in the truth. You're in prison. Truth shall set you free. So uh, you you can't value the opinions of people who are in prison. Can't value the opinions of people who will never learn better, will never know better, will never see better. Their opinions don't mean nothing. The, regardless of the situation and I also had to you I also myself I had to realize like this shit is just temporary that's all it is it's temporary some shit that will just happen for a moment a couple hours and even the person who lying on you act like it never happened this is all this is all. the only weapon is to lie they can't do nothing else to you they can't harm you in any other way but lie and lying is very harmful don't get me wrong you know what i mean but the truth of yahweh will 
indeed keep you safe. Regardless of any situation, it'd be a situation you thought you should have died. I, that's one thing I, I don't like in a Christian communities when people say, I should have been dead. No, if you should have been dead, you would, would have been dead. <laughs> Ain't no should have on something that never that, something that will never happen if you are in alignment with the Father. So I don't know. I hope this is inspirational to somebody to kind of scatter brain a little bit. Because I'm getting wits about talking more. But man, like Shit could be very tough at times, yo. And you just gotta keep soldiering through. If you, if you, and and, <laughs> and you know something. Uh, I kind of don't agree with that. God gives us tough, toughest battles thing anymore. No, He gives you your toughest battles. Otherwise, everybody had the same battles. He gives you your toughest battles. He knows you. So, ooh. Ooh. so yeah. Oh, man. Mem de moi, summer.